What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We're adding an addition to the garage, the Palmer Compound Garage. Kyson finally bucked up and is getting a new bike. Out with the old KTM, the 2020, and he's going to pick up a, what is it, a 2023? I think it's a 22 and a half. 22 and a half, there we go. I haven't seen many people with them, so I think we'll be like one of the first ones. So we'll be doing a We'll do a little testing, riding it around the compound. You'll have to stay tuned for next video because we'll be riding it at the local track and racing it this weekend. So, gonna be epic. Let's get to it and go pick this bad boy up. Yeah, you got straps? Got Dude, straps. this is a little bed. You think the bike will fit in there? It's gonna have to the tour bus right here. Yeah. Uber for Caden. Oh yeah, Uber. He's ready. It's gonna be sick. Hopefully, it's just a lot of money. <laughs> Yeah, the new ones are pretty spendy. Yeah, so on this new bike, the 2022 and a half version, the only one running it right now is like Webb, Marvin, and the Red Bull team. So it obviously is, looks way cooler. It's a different setup. You got different shrouds. They say there's different things with the suspension and it's some other little things. Bike. Whole new bike, basically, Kyson says. So we'll, hey. ask, we'll ask the salesman. Yeah, we'll ask old Jace, the salesman, see what he thinks of it. Do you think this is gonna be, you were pretty fast on your 2019 bike. Are you gonna be comfortable on Did this new one? You said it was a 20, and then you said it's a 19, it's a 21. <laughs> no, your old bike. Yeah, it was a 21. Oh, well are you gonna be, you're moving to a whole new bike? Dude, Who knows, Webb ain't looking fast. as good as he usually is on that old bike. Well, if I'm not as fast, I'm blaming it on Webb and Roger Costa. My personal opinion on it, it definitely is a much bigger bike like the shrouds make it wider and it seems longer so I'm curious I'm excited to ride it on Friday but who knows we'll either love it or maybe like the old ones better so not sure yet it might be for sale after this it week. might be for sale after the quick rip just like the E2 yeah the E2 is still for sale yeah E2 is still live we need to get that thing sold and you guys have liked these review videos so let us know what other bikes you want to see us uh get try out because it's been fun i mean trying different things building new bikes so um let us know in the comments what other bikes you want to see on the channel what all right get after it. let's see it let's go check this new bike out rock him out and shout out to this dealer they always hook us up like you literally can't even get these new bikes and sure enough jace calls us hey we got your name on one <laughs> so it'll be sick where is it they probably got it all on the back and stuff <laughs> Jace, Took it off that? the showroom floor. <laughs> Jace, <it's sold. laughs> Jim, I'm sold. Look at all these fresh bikes everywhere. Gas, gas. Looking good. So we got Malcolm Stewart's bike in here. Kyson, you should have went with the Husky. The Husky's pretty fire. There's like three new bikes. You got the Husky, they have a gas, gas, and then the KTM. And Kyson went with the KTM. I don't know. Look how big that, like, Oh, it's grab holes, oh, so you can do supermans and stuff, you know? Yeah. Grab holes. Yeah. That black frame looks fire, though. I think I might be getting the gas gas. Kyson was going to get the gas gas and then switched over to the KTM, but I think the gas gas looks so sick. There's our salesman. Walking with a limp, what's wrong? You ready to do this deal? That's a pimp <laughs> Where's my moon? Take him to the back. <laughs> you want to see it? <laughs> Yeah, let's get a quick glimpse real quick of the new rig. Oh, hey, we we're trying to discuss, so what is this, a 2022 and a half or a 23? Technically, it's a, it's a 22 and a half okay, so off right. the books, but this is the 23 bike. This is what Cooper Webb rides, there it is. This is, dang, that thing This is Kyson Webb's bike. Kyson <laughs> Webb. That is fire. Jeez. Right, now look at the front bike. Dude, this thing is so clean. It's a god oil in it, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're all race ready. You got a whole shot device. Jason's getting Kaisen all set up with the new bike. It's gonna be dialed. You ready to go sign your life away? Yep. Okay, to the business room. This is where it all goes down, huh? This is finance center. <laughs> <laughs> History in here. Stuart <laughs> Opoto. Uh, okay, so sales tax. So this is 2023 20, contract being signed right now yeah. between Red Bull Factor Racing My and KTM. The free bike. Roger. This is the the rider support <laughs> sign here. 
<laughs> this is the one year deal, right? <laughs> Just a one year limited contract for Lloyd. Uh, yep. <laughs> first one in Utah. Uh, no one else has seen one. This is the first exactly. one on the track. 450 wise. We were telling all the viewers this is the first one in Utah. Yeah, no one else has seen this bike yeah. besides me. And, and this is the guy. only man, the salesman, who can get it. Jace Cannon with Rocky Mountain. He'll get you a 23 <laughs> edition. Commission, bro. No commission. I do this for the love of the sport. <laughs> All right, got the stuff. You ready? You guys have any questions for me? Uh, so it's warranted, right? If you wreck so it, tip it, it over. <laughs> we can tomahawk this in your So if he crashes, it's totally fixable. Everything will be fixed back to race ready condition. Since they don't make them, you guys will cover it. No, if you get the air filter dirty, don't call me because I can't get you one. <laughs> yeah, they don't even have filters for these bikes. You stoked on it or what? Yeah, this thing's fine. Yeah, that, dude, the new look on these things is insane. Bro, that looks so nasty. How's it feel? It feels big. Jeez, can not touch the ground? Dude, that thing looks huge. What do you think, Bill? Nice turn. <laughs> Are these the new best things, this new edition? Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so this one is map one, this one's map two, this left switch trash control, and this right switch is your start switch, I think. QS. Quick shift. Oh, that's your quick shift. So you don't ever have to pull in the clutch. Oh, I'm sure you don't either way. Just dry shift that. Yeah. So you can turn it on. Let's hear a light bar. Deal has been done. Yeah, I'll take it. Take it. Yeah. He's taking it. Shout out, Jace. Thanks for the, thanks for the new ride, brother. Let's go, Palmer Compound. He's <laughs> gonna ride it straight out. Just like that. There it is. Just like that. Things. Yeah, right? What is this? Big Suron guy goes electric and now he claims to be a gas rider. I, he, like, he's been begging about this new E thing and now he loves revving again. Thought, thought you were a big electric guy. I thought you didn't want to be seen on these gas powered things. You forget what a rev feels like? <laughs> that vibration between your legs? <laughs> That's a big bike in a little truck. Cat just did it. Big bike in a little truck. Yeah, he just rode it in no problem. There it is. 2022 and a half. All right, always good doing business with old Jace Cannon, the man yes, sir, myth. Boys. Yes, sir. Well, are you stoked on your purchase or what? Yeah. Thing should looks be insane. Sweet. Thing is pretty dialed. It looks good back there. Yeah, Thanks. That thing is far. This is your new home, buddy. All right. This is your home. The new factory edition bike has officially made it to the compound. Let's go. We're back in the garage. What are you gonna do with this bike? You forgot to sell this one first. We put four sale. Oh, switch the sell sign over to this one. That bike's so fresh, though. Yeah, I don't know why no one bought it. Boom. Boom. There it is. It has touched dirt at the compound.
How's it feel? It seems butter. It seems nice. Thing looks nice, dude. We're going to go straight to racing it this weekend. Yes. That's the proper way to break them in. Uh, maybe do a few heat cycles and then go to racing, but I don't see a problem with it. I mean, they're race ready, right? So they should be ready yeah, to so hit, the, hit ready the track. Ready to race right there. A couple more uh, nose really, uh sessions and we should be good. Wow, he's going to wreck my brand new bike. This thing is sick. Yeah. Is it 12 grand sick though? Dude, I think so. You could, get four of, you could get four of those. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this thing is like pristine. This thing's so nice. But a lot of content with this thing coming soon. Look at this. New Off new and on. So, like, this? if you're on the track and you you stall, that's going to be struggle. Yeah, that like, that is weird. You said a uh, quick shift. Huh. So, so you, you don't even have to shift you, it. Yeah, you, instead of grinding them, it just no shifts. No way, I remember him saying about that. That's so fine. you do have to shift it. It's just, uh, you don't have to pull in the clutch. Gnarly. But, yeah, I'm going to ride this thing off in the sunset. Well, thanks for tuning in. That's going to be the end of today's video. Kyson is stoked on his new dirt bike, which this thing is insane. Super excited. He's finally going to actually let me try it this weekend. This will be the first time I've ever, I have ever rode one of his bikes. Be sure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, we got to run up those views. This thing ain't cheap. These bikes aren't cheap. Help us out. No, we appreciate y'all. Thanks again for the support. We'll see you guys next time.